and hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of The Zone TV Movie Entertainment with me your host Jonathan once again bringing you my thoughts and review for tonight's episode of Star Wars The Acolyte Episode 6. You know I know a lot of people right now are not exactly loving this show either you loving it not loving it or hating this show and you know last week's episode I really enjoyed I thought the stuff was you know with um Potion Master guy being revealed as the, the Sith Lord. I thought that's cool. Mr. You know, Mr. Smiley McHelmet. Yeah, I, I don't know his name. I apologize. I, I wish I should know his name, but he's a cool character. But, um, you know, I wish we got some more from him. Kind of did a little bit in this episode. But, uh, I mean, there's nothing, nothing too big revealing. But, you know, he's a Sith Lord. He just wants to do his thing. He is looking for, you know, an apprentice. And so what they say in this episode. So there is some moments in here that we get to see Osha. That's right, Osha. Because Osha and May swapped. May's with Soul and Osha's with uh, the other guy. With the Sith Lord guy. So, you know, we get to see some moments where Osha is just trying to figure out, like, why she's there. She's on a, an unknown planet, which, to me, is a big rock surrounded by water. So, could be Luke's place, you know... Early in the years, early in the decades, okay, sorry, early in the century before Luke shows up there, it could be that planet, could be something else, I don't know, could be Camino before it becomes the Camino, I don't know. All I know is they're in an island where they're surrounded by water, which is you know any planet, but they call it unknown. So you know she's trying to figure out like, oh, why you brought me here? I don't understand why you brought me here. And then he's asking, okay, so let me ask you, why'd you let the Jedi? Um. I wanted to. Why? Because. Oh, and then you get to see him try to play mind games with her. Like, oh, you left because they wanted you to leave. They, they didn't want you to be a Jedi. She's like, that's not true. Cool banter back and forth. And then she ignites his red lightsaber. I thought that was pretty cool. Which is the mind games, you know, a Sith Lord, Sith Lord would play with a p potential apprentice. Kind of like how Palpatine kind of messed with Anakin Saying that, oh yeah, you're a great Jedi, you know, you know, you you should be on the council, you know, all those kind of mind games that he did, in you know, in the prequels, which that's a cool little mind thing for you know for a Sith Lord to do to or a future apprentice because they really don't know. Even though Osha, although I feel like Osha shouldn't realize his mind games, he did try to like play it off a little bit, but I thought that stuff was pretty interesting. But um, hey, it's a possibility. You know, kind of the way like how Kylo Ren would talk to Rey and all that good stuff, or the Emperor with Luke. You know, always try to play the mind games with the young, the future young apprentices, if they try to get them. I mean, I don't know if Osha would eventually join, but it's a possibility. While that's happening, you have May aboard with Osha, um, Sol. You know, she's trying to find a way to you know kill him. So there's that. You have that weasel guy or you know tracker he shows up he's got um osha's robot you know swiss army knife character you know he's trying to you know plug him back in try to figure out what the heck is going on try to spot a fake you know so that stuff that, that was cool i honestly thought um soul wasn't gonna figure it out that osha was really me and osha wasn't there he does kind of captures her and um, I guess he wants to explain himself to her or confess something to her. We don't know. We're going to find that probably next week. So there's that. I thought that stuff was, you know, eh, it was all right. That stuff was all right. And, of course, we get to see oh, um, Soul's master, you know, the, the, the lady gr in green. She gets the situation about like oh yeah maybe the yeah, i think so communicate with some of the jedis on in you know in their you know in the temple and you know the communication got kind of scrambled but he says something about dead jedis so they go to the planet where they were they find the dead jedis which kind of tells you like wow so it's so it's kind of crazy that he would just leave his fellow jedi just lying there he takes off he's like yeah you're dead i i, I can't carry you guys so I can't carry you guys all the way through the forest. I, I understand that. Because, you know, they were deep in the forest. But, dang. He just leaves them all there. Like, yeah, sorry, guys. 
it's a long walk back. I, I, I can't go back and forth. I'll be here all day. I, I just gotta bounce. And he just left. So when the, you know, the other Jedi show up, they find the bodies. The, the one with the controversy of the uh, Star Wars whip was the lady in green. That was cool. I, I thought, I always wanted to see a different type of lightsaber weapon, okay? I'm sorry. You know, if you want to make Ninja Turtle weapons out of, out of, out of, out of you know, lightsabers, go ahead. I, I want to see it. Because honestly, I'm kind of getting sick and tired of just seeing the swords. I wouldn't, wouldn't mind seeing an axe. Size. Nunchucks. Heck, give me a bow staff. I mean, we already had the double-bladed lightsaber, but still, come on. You know, make something new. You know what I mean? But whatever. So the whip was cool. Hopefully she gets to see that see that in action a little bit more. So we'll see how that plays out, if, you know, if we get a chance. Who knows? But what I liked about this episode, I'm also going to talk about the stuff I didn't like about this episode. You know, I, I love the whole, like, witty banter. Like, oh, yeah. Like I said before, the whole Sif trying to recruit a, a possible apprentice and lying and all that stuff. But was May? I'm mean, sorry. Yeah. Was Osha kind of smart to be like... Man, I'm not gonna fall for that. Who knows? But um, but there was a moment in this episode that I liked and also didn't like. So that was the ending. And the ending was, you see, Potion Master. I, I I'm sorry. I keep calling him Potion Master because I don't remember. I don't know his name. So it was easy to say that because he's the one who gave uh, May the potion to kill the other Jedi. So I'm, I'm calling him Potion Master. I'm sorry. He's cleaning up his helmet. Kind of like Kylo Ren would do. I, I think they did a nod to him. So that was pretty cool, I guess. A little early in the Star Wars universe, but whatever. He leaves for a minute. And then you see Osha pick up the helmet. Look at it. Put it on. And God admit, she looks pretty cool with it on. But one thing I didn't like about it was the whole heavy breathing she was doing. Kind of like winking to us. Like, eh, eh, eh. This is thousands of years before Darth Vader. I was doing the dark, the big breathing before Dark Vader. I mean, you didn't need that. You didn't need that. But what can you do? It wasn't a bad episode. I, I, it was okay. You know, honestly. Look, look, honestly, look. The writing in this show is terrible. Okay? I can admit that. Does it play off like a CW show? show? Sure. I mean, listen. Flash wasn't as was Oscar level either, okay? We the Flash, you know, we had stupid lines like that. So we're gonna eventually get shows like that throughout Star Wars, Marvel, whatever. Don't even get me started with the, the, the length of the season, the show, whatever. This what really bothers me. The length. Like 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 if you wanna make a good show, good writing, obviously. That's like the most important thing. And, you know, make a compelling story. Look at Game of Thrones or House of the Dragon. By the way, if you're not watching House of the Dragon, you gotta go watch it. I'm not a big Game of Thrones fan, but House of Dragon slaps. Heck, even The Boys is awesome. And those have great length. You wanna have a good show and good story? Gotta have good length. I don't know what Marvel... Even Marvel has this problem. Marvel has this problem. And Star Wars has that problem. They got like these 32 episodes, you know, episodes for these shows. And it's like, you're not giving us enough. So, they need to fix that problem ASAP. Because honestly, I'm getting kind of bummed down. Hopefully, the, the Daredevil one shows up and be, be, be also for Marvel. but And Skeleton Crew for Star Wars. But we'll see when we get to that. But overall, wasn't that bad. Could have been better? Absolutely could have been better. But um, what can you do? But I will check it out for next week's episode and see what happens, and um, we'll see. So, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought about it. Are you guys enjoying this show? Not enjoying it. It's okay if you're not. It's fine. Tapped out it right away, and I got the episode two. I wouldn't blame you. Um, um, whatever you guys are thinking, let me know. Comment below. Stay tuned for more. Thank you very much, and have a good night.